So last week, I was filming in Myeongdong and it was about 9.30 in the morning when I noticed a long queue of people lining up. Um, I went closer to see what they were waiting for and it was actually Izak Toast, which is a popular toasted sandwich chain in Korea. I was kind of surprised, like, why are they waiting for 30 minutes in the morning to have street toast? But then I thought about it and I realised that when you're travelling in Seoul, there aren't many breakfast options aside from rice. You could go to Dunkin Donuts or McDonald's, but you have that in your own country, so why would you really want to eat that here? Or you could go to the big coffee chains like Starbucks, but their breakfasts are actually quite expensive. So I guess that's why Isak Toast has become so popular. It's cheap, it's fast, and it's tasty. Isak Toast first opened in 1995, and now they have 800 stores in Korea and outlets throughout Asia. If you ask me, that's pretty amazing. So here we are at Isak Toast, and it opens at 9.30 in the morning in my neighborhood. This is one of the newest stores, so it's not just a takeout place, they actually have seats where you can sit down to eat. Uh, let's take a look at the menu. The menu is divided into bacon and ham, and then meat and hash brown sandwiches. Then you have set menus with coffee or iced tea. The bulgaibi costs 3,600 won, and the ham special costs 2,700 won. I got two of the most popular menus here. I got the ham cheese special and the bulgalbi MVP, which contains a sweet kalbi patty. I'm gonna try the ham cheese first. And as you can see, it comes in this neat little package, so you can even eat it when you're walking around. If you take a look at the surface of the bread, because it was cooked on the grill with butter, you can see that it's really golden crunchy. Let's open it up to see what's on the inside. So it's lathered in this special Isak Toast sauce and then it has fresh cabbage, cheese, um, a slice of ham, pickles and egg. Mm. You get the savouriness of the cheese, you get the crunch of the cabbage, saltiness from the ham, the sweetness of the pickles, and then the smoothness of the egg. And the egg also has corn inside, so you get this really interesting popping texture. You can't really see this now because the cheese is melted, but the bread is spread with this special Isak Toast sauce, which is really sweet. Now I'm going to take a slice of the bread and taste the sauce to see if I can guess what's in it. The sauce is sweet, but it's not totally sugary, so it must be some kind of fruit, maybe kiwi. And you can also taste a hint of garlic. It's the ultimate panjan, which means sweet and salty. This is really good value for 2,700 won. I mean, I expected this to be a simple breakfast, but I think you could eat this for lunch or even as an afternoon snack. So now I'm going to try the Purugaibi MVP, which is supposed to be the most popular patty sandwich here. So let's open this one up and see what's inside. So again, it has a special Isak Toast sauce, and then it has a slice of cheese, fresh cabbage, and underneath it has this kalbi patty. Um, as you can see, the meat is white, so it's a pork patty. And then you get the pickles, and again the egg. And I noticed that they spread two different types of sauce on the patty when they were making this. So let me taste it and tell you what the sauce is. So the sauce has a sweet and spicy flavour. I think it's a combination of chilli sauce and barbecue sauce. Um, and it gets a bit runny actually, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if this one would be a good option to eat when you're walking around the streets of Seoul. But it's definitely filling because it has a pork patty. The pork patty itself, um, it's really bland. You get the flavours from the chilli and the barbecue sauce. I'm going to give you my honest opinion about the Prugalbi burger. I don't know, it was a bit messy for me, like I got sauce all over my fingers. And as for the taste, it was somewhere in between a sandwich and a hamburger. But for the price of 3,600 won, personally, I think I'd go to McDonald's or Burger King and get myself a hamburger because they're made of beef patties, whereas this one's made of pork. 
But definitely, if you come to Izak Toast, the ham cheese special or the ham cheese toast is so delicious and it's so satisfying, so get that. I think I'm gonna go home, work out how to recreate this Izak Toast sauce and do a recipe for Korean street toast. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe and leave me a comment. Bye!